history of Christianity in Wales, on the one hand filled with ordinary men and women like you and me, was also dotted with and sometimes dominated by times of revival. So often has this happened in the history of this country that is now known the world over as the land of revivals. God in his grace blessed our nation with the power and presence of the Holy Spirit and the effect was immense in our country. A verse that would sum him up, the zeal for thine house hath eaten me up. He was a zealous man. He also realised that catechising people wasn't as effective if people weren't able to read themselves. His preaching has been described like the fiery volcano of Etna or Vesuvius, and his hearers, dissolved by the Spirit's presence, were carried away to the gates of heaven. When they were preaching, the Spirit was at work, and they had an authority about them. He was awakened in the middle of the night with a personal visitation from the Lord, and for the next few months, he woke early each morning to have what he called wonderful communion with God. He was a very ordinary preacher, and I thank God for that fact, because it shows me that God can use the weak and the foolish things of this world. As well as preaching every day, that's how much hymns he composed. It's a thick tone. They were just faithful ministers in their chapels, suddenly being part of God's awakening visitation over so much of the land. The power of God was very evident. Uh, some spoke of it that uh, there was something kind of in the air that, that made the place different. The overwhelming sense of God's presence, which uh, the mortal body can hardly contain. People who had been struck down in their guilt, when these same people came to trust in Jesus Christ, they would jump up and you, you couldn't contain them. The ploughman, as he's ploughing the fields, is uh, singing praise to Almighty God. The very first Bible Society in the world, and from which every other Bible Society across the world came into existence. Because of the fullness that they saw in Christ, there was a great joy in their lives. My prayer is that we would see something of the Lord and discover his heart to bless undeserving people with his presence. Indeed, that we too would cry out with Isaiah, oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down.